his mercies upon us. Let us thank Almighty God. Let us thank Almighty God. Let us thank Almighty God. What an mighty day, oh Jesus, Lord God. What an mighty day, oh Jesus, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you adoration. We give you honor. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus, we thank you. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus, we bless your holy name. We want to thank you. Oh, families, we want to thank you for the church leadership. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord God, Father, for AMF, Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus ministry. We thank you for the leadership. We thank you, Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus, what you have been using. Oh, Lord God, Father, man of God, oh, to do through AMF. Father, we want to thank you for everything. Lord God, Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. We give you adoration. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus, Father. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, Bob Jesus, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're going to pray. If AMF is going to be sustained, if AMF is going to continue to do what it is doing, what it's supposed to do, it's prayer. We have to hold it with prayer. It's through prayers. And today's meeting, we want to commit unto the hand of God. We are praying that Almighty God will bring all the people on the way. Let us pray that Almighty God will bring all the people on the way. Let us pray God will cancel every accident. We want to pray for those who are not here, who are, will be on their way coming. Lord God, who will be on the Zoom? Let us open our mouth and pray. Let us open our mouth and pray. Let us open our mouth and pray. Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, those who are coming, God will bring them safely. No accident. And let us pray. Those who are even on Zoom, let us pray for them. We want to pray that AMF, oh, the number will increase. The goal is to come together and see how we can reach out. We can evangelize. You know, let us pray that the goal will, you know, will be realized. Let us pray that AMF, when we meet like this, the number will be greater than what we see. Let us open our mouth and pray, Lord God, Father, and the number will increase. The goal of AMF will be sell out to people. People who understand communities, churches, we will come together then. Oh, Lord God, Father, we will come together, unified, with a common goal, oh, so that we can, you know, fight for the Lord. Let us pray, nothing will hinder this goal. Let us pray, God will give us the grace. Open your mouth and pray, Lord God, a go of AMF, reaching out all the denominations, reaching out all people across the world, reaching out people with different backgrounds, who oh, reaching out Christians, who oh, so that we we'll all be unified, united, you know, carrying the gospel, who oh, to the people, who oh, all our side will be, you know, helping each other, supporting each other. Oh, Lord God, this goal will be fulfilled, will be realized. Let us open our mouth and pray. Let us open our mouth and pray. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, bomb Jesus, Lord God, Father. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day, bomb Jesus. Lord God, nothing will hinder the goal. Lord God, let us open our mouth and pray. The leadership, the leaders set. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, Lord God, you use him mightily. God Almighty. Oh, give them the grace, oh Lord God, Father, to do what is expected. Let us pray, AMF leaders, unto the hand of God, Alexandra chapter. Let us open our mouth and pray. Let us open our mouth and pray for the leaders, God Almighty, oh Lord God, Father, who sustain them, who keep them, oh Lord, who give them the grace, and noble men from heaven, Lord God, Father, to be able to do this job. Oh Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, lead us in your hand, Lord God, Father, God Almighty, Lord God, support the leaders, great, they, they give the leader the grace, Lord God, Father, oh, Lord God, wisdom, Lord God, the strength, Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
to keep AMF goals alive, to continue with, Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. My God, Lord God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to continue to commit today. Uh, today's topic, we have a seminary, uh, uh, seminarian, you know, coming to give us, you know, a, a, a topic. Let us commit him onto the hand of God. We want to pray for him. Let us commit him. And all the seminaries, let us pray. God will prepare them. And today, for example, let us commit him onto the hand of God. Let us commit him. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Because what he has for us will be useful will be useful. Lord God, Father, in the mighty day, from Jesus, Lord God, the seminarian, Lord God, into your hand, into your care, God will prepare him. What he has for us will be useful. My God will help us, Lord God, Father, in the mighty day, from Jesus, my God, in our goal, in our walk with you, Lord God, Father, in the mighty day, from Jesus, Father, Lord God, Father, in the mighty day, from Jesus, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And so in our time, this in time like this, you know, what the church, you know, need is revival. Oh, we wish revival will come from somewhere, but let us not forget the revival we need. And so revival we need to be better. Oh, let's think of this way, that we together, we will catch the revival, oh, here, and then we will be able to take it, oh, to our various churches. And so let us pray that Almighty God will set us on fire, will revive AMF. Let us pray, will revive us. God will pour a revival from heaven upon us in a wonderful way. So that, you know, from here, we'll be able to take it to churches, various churches. So that the members in our churches would also catch it. And so let us pray that God will begin the revival oh, with us. Open your mouth and pray. Revival with us. AMF. God will begin the revival. Oh, with us in us. Let us open our mouth. We need a revival. Oh, power to pray. Power to evangelize. Where is it? Prayer life, where is it? It's almost gone. There's no life. Oh, let us open our mouth. God will begin, you know, life, you know, with us. We will be prayerful. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, Lord God, Father, we will be listening to God, be connected to God and man. These days, it's sad. People take, you know, <laughs> look at man for answer. Man will fail you. Instead of leaving a man and go to God, we depend everything. We look at man. We look at man. And man is controlling us. Man will fail you. Man will, you know, <laughs> will fail you. We leave man and connect to God. So that we'll be led by God, the Spirit of God. Let us open our mouth and pray. Let us open our mouth. Revival, we need revival. Power to pray, God, pour upon us. Zechariah like prayed, God, pour upon me the power of prayer. Open your mouth and pray. God will pour upon us. Oh, the power of prayer. In the morning, we will pray. In the afternoon, we will pray. In the evening, we will pray. In the night, we will pray. Wisdom to pray. Power to pray. Grace to pray. God will give to us. Let us open our mouth and pray. Young ones will pray. Old ones will pray. Let us open our mouth. And Jesus looked at the disciples and said, you cannot do anything. Pray without season. Pray without season. He set an example. He will leave them and go to a solution place and commune, pray to God. And so that was an example. Jesus looked at the disciples and said, you can't do it without prayer. Let us open our mouth and pray. If there is something we need in our time, it's prayer. Let us open our mouth and pray. We will leave my mom and things, and we will connect to God. Connect to God. You spend time with the Lord. What is your connection with God? Has God told you something? What is your connection? We have cutting that and we are resorting to con connect. No. The spiritual work, we can't do that. We connect, we remain connected to God all the time, all the time. 
And then from there, we can deal with man. Let us open our mouth and pray. You take your prayer life, God Almighty. Take your prayer life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. God, pour upon me the spirit of prayer. I need a prayer life. God Almighty, Lord God Father. God, pour upon me the spirit of prayer. Lord God Father, and Almighty. I will spend time with you. Lord, I'll communion one-on-one -on -one with you. Oh, Moses did that. And his face shine. Open your mouth and pray, God, Lord God, Father, and pour upon the church. AMF. Members, leaders, the spirit of prayer, Lord God, Father, and the mighty day of Jesus, Lord God, Father. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day of Jesus. God, oh, pour upon us the spirit of prayer, Lord God, Father, and the mighty day of Jesus. Lord God, Father, and the mighty day. Wisdom to pray, power to pray, grace to pray, Lord God, for strength to pray. Time to pray. Give unto us, Lord God, Father, and the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, Father. Lord God, Father, and the mighty name of Jesus, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us thank Almighty God for answering our prayers. We are 20 minutes. After, let us praise the Lord. Thank Almighty God. You know, people are connected on Zoom. Let us thank Almighty God. Father, we thank you. Bless your name. We give you glory for bringing us together again. Father, we commend this meeting unto your hand. Those who are coming. Father, we pray that Lord God will continue over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise, praise, praise the Lord and uh, all the people at the Zoom to um, our president on the way coming. Um, three accidents on the road. So um, he called that uh, he's running late. So um, we have to uh, make some quick changes. And so we want to uh, look at praises and worship. So we're going to invite Sister Mary to lead us, you know, uh, praises and worship. Thank you. Shall we rise in the mood of worship? I will declare you are the only God, the only God, the only God. I will declare. 
omega. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. And all the people on Zoom, praise the Lord. So at this point, I know Pastor Ade is on the line. Pastor Ade, uh, we're going to, um, Pastor Ade is going to connect to us so that he can take the prayer aspect prayer aspect. Pastor Ade, are you there? Please. Um, take it from there. The prayer aspect. Pastor Ade, thank you. Pastor Ade? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we can hear you also. Please, um, the prayer aspect, um, continue with us. Thank you. So can you hear so me? Can you hear me? We can hear you very well. Okay, okay. All right, let's All right, pray. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. pray. Father, we give you gifts. We worship, worship and honor you. We bring you, bring us, you together us together today, today for the, the meeting. meeting. Give you all the glory, all glory for past for meetings, meetings, meetings and for having us. Have 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 we appreciate you, Lord God, Father, Father, because we know that. that you are, you are going to help us today, today in all that we'll do. We'll do. And everything and we everything do, we do with we'll your glory, glory in the name in of the Jesus, name Christ. Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Jesus name we, pray. we pray. We are going to, we are going to commit, commit 
Uh, the uh, AMF, the Virginia 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 we are going to pray and ask that the Lord will help us to fulfill the mission and the vision of the AMF, which is, in summary, to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's pray, committing all our ministers and commissioners, all our members, all our leaders. We are going to pray. That the God of heaven will renew their renew strength. Renew their strength. Uh, the days uh, that we are in, that we are in, are you know, are, you very, know very challenging. Very challenging. A lot of things, calling, lot of things calling our attention. Our attention. But we are going to pray. We are going to pray that the Lord will give us, Lord will give us, 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 as members of AMF, members of AMF, that the God of heaven will move, will move AMF forward, AMF forward, so that we're able to accomplish. The vision and the vision mission of the AMF, of the AMF, in the mighty name, of, the Jesus mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for Let's the individual pray for ministers. The individual ministers. I pray for all, the, pray for leaders all the leaders that, that, God, that God will strengthen them. Will strengthen them. The Lord will renew the Lord their strength. Renew their strength. And that and you know, that, you the know, Lord will take us will to, take us to a, higher height, a higher height every time. Every time, in the mighty name of Jesus in the Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I pray for I'll all pray our, for our, our executive, uh, executive members, members, our leaders, our leaders, and ask that Lord, ask all, that the, Lord the all the wisdom they need, the wisdom they need, the grace they need, the grace they need, the strength they need, the strength they need, you know, to be able you know, to, to be able to, uh, to perform to their perform respective, respective responsibilities. responsibilities. The Lord will give them the in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let's pray and Let's say, pray Lord, and God, say, Lord God, everyone, everyone. That is that going is through going through some challenges, some right, challenges now. right now, and because of that, they, are not, that, they are not able to perform, perform their, their responsibilities. responsibilities. That the Lord, that the God Lord of, of heaven, of heaven, will intervene, will intervene, and He will take will those take problems, problems away from, away from, their, from their, life. their life, so that they so can, that be, they can active be active and effective, and effective in the work, in of, the work the Lord, of the Lord in the name of in Jesus Christ. And let's pray and commit the AMF. Virginia branch to God's hands, God hands. That, that God will bring people, bring people to, add to add to us. To us. He will increase, he will increase us. us numerically, spiritually, in the mighty, in the mighty name, name of Jesus Christ. Christ. You know that, you know that ministers, ministers and leaders, and leaders African, African ministers, ministers African and leaders, and ministers and ministers and leaders, and leaders in other in ministries. ministries, God will connect us with them and will help us to be connected with them so that together. We'll be able to, we'll be able to move, forward move forward and propagate and this propagate gospel of Christ, of Christ in the name, in of, the Jesus name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We're going to We're pray, going to pray that, that all the people, people, all the locations, locations and that, are that are facing challenges, challenges God, God of heaven will intervene, intervene to roll, to roll those, problems those problems away in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In Jesus' in name, name, we pray. pray. In Jesus' in name, Jesus name, we pray. We pray. We're committing, We're committing the meeting, the meeting today, today in God's presence. Let's, Let's pray that the Lord, that the Lord, Lord, Lord will glorify himself. himself. In all in that we we'll do that here we'll today, today, the Lord will the glorify, Lord himself. himself. The AMF, the AMF will, move will move forward. forward. The, people the people will be mightily, mightily blessed. blessed. The name, the of, name of, the of the Lord will be glorified. glorified. In, Jesus in Jesus' mighty name, mighty name we, pray. we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah, today is a very, very challenging day for us. Our president, you know, he is always here on time. He is always here on time. But he called and he said, there are, I think there are some three accidents on the way. And it's like the, the, the place has been sealed up completely. So that is why it's very late. But we'll still move ahead because of the program we have. So what is this opportunity to welcome ourselves, our old faces here, 
And um, we caught there's a seminar coming up today. We can't hold back forever. So um, now that we had our opening prayer and everything, um, oh, oh, is he here? Okay. Um, so the, the president is here. So I want to give him uh, maybe five minutes to get here and see the way we want to move forward. So because uh, we cannot sit down just like that. Um, <laughs> Mary, can you come and give us some few, you know, at least we can't sit down like that quietly. It's not good. Come on, if, if, it, if it's cool also, it doesn't have to be praise or worship strictly. If it's cool also, we get into a little action and clap our hands and, you know, move around a little bit. As maybe five minutes, because the president, I'm told, is here. I want to see him now. All right, shall we rise up in a mood of praise? Your hands. Jehovah reigns, Jehovah reigns, my Savior reigns, Jehovah reigns. You are lifted up above all the gods, lifted up. You are lifted up, God. You are lifted up, God. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory. Hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, praise the Lord. I will praise him every day, praise him every day. I will praise everybody, praise the Lord now. Praise the Lord now. Everybody, praise the Lord now. I will praise him every day, praise him every day. The Lord Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, 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 I will praise him every day, praise him every day. Everybody praise the Lord now. Praise the Lord now, Lord Jehovah, 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you all, and God bless you. Please forgi forgive us, uh, forgive me in particular for uh, what happened to today. South Africa and a, lo a lot of things. And uh, if uh, we have thought of it deeply, we would have done it online today. It just dawned on me. Um, our presenter will be presenting for, um, through Zoom 
online. So they would have been easy for everybody with the traffic and, to, and, the, and other matters. And also, I would like to apologize to the presenter. We thought of letting her come out around 10.30 or so. Uh, though, according to our time, we are not too late, but uh, uh, with our matter. So I uh, would like to introduce, uh, we'll move on to our next session by introducing the presenter. And the secretary will come and uh, introduce her. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. God is good. All the time. All, all the time. time. What God has purpose and destined will definitely come to pass. It doesn't matter what the devil does, right? So mm -hmm. we want to thank mm -hmm. God. Through it all, we are here. And it is time to introduce our seminarian. Her name is Miss Chichi Moluku. She is from Nashville, Tennessee. She is a wife. She's a mother of three kids. She worked as an accountant to the Department of Transportation until she decided to become a financial professional to reach out to many people. And we are blessed as she's joining us through Zoom. So get your pen and paper ready. Are you ready for education? <laughs> <laughs> I put it in there. In yesterday, I put knowledge is power. This morning, Pastor corrected me. He said applied knowledge, right? So yes, we're going to yes. pray that the Lord himself will use our seminarian to impact ministers. We need financial liberty. We need financial understanding. God has blessed us, but the ability to apply right so that's why she's here so with a warm welcome a hand of applause let's welcome miss chichi monukwa sorry if i mispronouncing <laughs> the last name god bless you <laughs> recording in progress. progress so thank, so you, thank so you so much, much. i think my I think voice my is echoing can you all hear me? hear me? Can you hear, can you hear me? me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay. okay. So, the, so my voice is echoing. Is echoing. I, don't I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I think we are good here. There is no echo. Okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, first, so of, first all, of all, good morning, good morning everyone. everyone. Um, um, it's, it's a great a privilege, great privilege to be here. Yeah, yeah. I want to I thank her, Pastor Boteng and his lovely wife, wife, who invited, who invited me, here. me here. And, um, and um, I would have loved, would have loved to be there, to be with, there you with you all, but it's just but that, just I, that didn't I didn't get the message, get message, message on time. time. And, um, and um, by the time I was able, I could move all the things I had. I have another program coming up tomorrow in Nashville, so I just couldn't. But I want to let you know that. I'm going to bring all I'm going to bring. It's going to look like I am also there with you all. Hopefully one of these days I'm able to be there with you all. So once again, I just want to thank you all. Thank you so much for this privilege. So one thing, um, you all have been doing great things. Can you imagine the community without spiritual food, with all these things going about, going around? So for the things that most of you are doing, it's, it's um, in fact, God will continue to bless you all. And I know that so many of you, the work that probably the job you would have picked somewhere, you are not able to pick it because you are you you always come back to think about the church of God. So many of you are actually breadwinners, but the, the job that you would have taken, you're also not taking, or they may be the over time you want to work, you are not. Because you have a, you, you are at the end of the day, it's all about the church of God, what the community wants. And what that has also, so many of us actually are so involved at times to the detriment of even, of even our family. That will tell you the kind of commitment that most of you all have. It costs for upload, but I know that God will continue to bless you all. 
Today, I want to talk about very important um, theme that I have for you all today. And I hope that you all, just like the pastor's wife said, that you have your pen and paper. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about what we hear. It's what we're able to apply. I'm going to start by telling you all this. That so many of there's we have when it comes to finance, so many people think is a lot. And so they, they don't want to think about it. They don't want to learn about it. We live our lives hoping that one day something wonderful will happen. It doesn't mean that it will not happen. It can happen. But I also believe that when you have a plan put in place, it will help you a, a lot. So many ministers, I'm sure, are pastors, leaders. I'm sure you will all want, there are some things you want to see in the church of God. There are some things you want to put in place. But you cannot put it in place. Because probably the money is not really there. The members are struggling. You also are struggling. And so many of you are breadwinners. And if you don't have enough, so your family is relying on you too. So in the event of, God forbid, bad thing that something were to happen, there's only so much time that people can rally around your family. But at the end of the day, your family will pick up from wherever it is. It is for this reason that I do not even think, I believe that finance has become something very, very important that everybody should take it into consideration in whatever we're doing. And that's why we have we keep partnering with pastors because we, la we love bringing it to the church of God. Why the, the, the pastors, you give the, the community spiritual food? We, what we do is that we provide the financial aspect of it. Because when we, when, when we, when we live well, I think we make a great difference in the, in, in the, in, in the world. And it is for that reason I really want to appreciate you all. Today, I said I was going to talk about, today what we'll be talking about, and I hope that um, it will bless so many of you, because that's just, um, today, our topic is to discover number one financial tool in building multi-generational wealth. What is that number one multinational financial tool that will do that for us. You know, the truth is this. There is a saying that if you want to build treasure, or if you, if you want to hide treasure, hide it in the book, because so many people will not read it. And if you want to build wealth, or if you want to talk about wealth building, hide it in something that so many people will run away from, because they don't want to hear about it. This is what I'm going to share with you. Cash value, life insurance. So many of us run away from life insurance. But you will ask the wealthy class Americans what they know about it that middle class Americans do not know about it. What is it that the, the, the founder of Disney or the, the person that started Disney World, what did he know that when banks refused to fund his vision on Disney World, do you know what he did? He went to his cash value life insurance to draw some money and he started building this Disney World. What is it that Jesse Penny know about life insurance, cash value life insurance? That when they were about to fold, they were about to go into bankruptcy, no bank wanted to touch them. You know what the founder did? He went to his life cash value life insurance to actually draw money from that. What is it that Jake Thompson know that he has that when, when the whole economy was folding, uh, people, people were losing things. He went and drew money from his cash value life insurance and bought two properties that ordinarily nobody would have sold it at that amount because banks were closing. They were not giving anybody money. They were all waiting to see what was going to happen. And so people that had money somewhere, they were able to actually become very wealthy at that time. He made over 300, 200% profit on just the properties he bought, and he got that money from cash value life insurance. Let me not even go far. What does 
board of directors of General Electric know that their directors, you know what they do? When you check their statements sometime 2016, the money they put in life cash value life insurance, $480,000 every year, $483,000 every year. Some of them, $98,000 every year. Do you know how much they invest in their 401ks and the rest? $9,000. And do you know why they actually invest that $9,000? Because their company ma was matching it for them. What does bank know? That we go there to put our money with them. But they turn around and take your money and my money. And they invest it in life insurance um, uh, life insurance assets. What is it that they know? That Bank of America invests right now over $24 billion. What do they know? that we do not know. It is for that reason, I'm going to take you on a journey so that you can understand what some of these people know that those of us do not know. And it keeps making us struggle. I just mentioned the ministers of God. So many of you are, are, are so into what you are doing. To God be the glory because we need you people, especially in the kind of things that's happening. But have you ever thought what will be the fate of your family if you do not have some things put in place? Knowledge is power, just like the minister said. But do you know what is more powerful? Applied knowledge. I want to take you people on that journey so that you can understand what cash value life insurance is. If you understand it, it will not only bless you, it will bless your, 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 your gathering because the truth is this. You know, there's only so much you can give. You, cannot, you can never give what you don't know. It is for that reason that I, I really believe that this is the best time to talk about financial programs, things that will be of benefit to the people. So I want to take you all on that journey. I'm going to share my screen and just let me know whether you are able to see it. Can you all see me? Yes, you can see okay, me. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay. So let me just um, you know, most of the time, uh, because we do not know, so what do what do we end up doing? Anything that come across us, because we too we are trying to make sure that we actually settle. Uh, set up our finances, but anything that comes around, we go for it. I want us to look at this. You will see financial portfolios. These are all anything that has to do with financial anything. I want you to I want you to look at it. Whether it's checking account, whether it's savings, certificates of deposit, four hundred one k TSP four five seven. These are all financial tools that many people we use some of them, but I'm going to try to uh, place it so that you will understand it when you look at it or compare it with what successful people really think about. So look at the IRA, Roth IRA, stocks, Bitcoin, annuities, life insurance, bond, college fund, just name it. I want you to see all, these are the financial portfolios. I cannot think of any other one that is not here. But let's look at what fan, the financial principles of successful people. The first one is this. They say you should make money, but you should never lose money. That's one of their principles. So I want us to start thinking about that. Make money, but never lose it. And this one is actually Warren Buffett. He actually said, always remember, never you forget rule number one. Always remember that you should make money, but never lose it in the market. The third one is this. Whatever it is that you're building, how, what is the management fee? Does it attract management fee? Remember that management fee, whether you like it or not, whether you make profit or not, whether they are, whether you are increasing or not, they will continue to take their management fee. So at times you wonder, shouldn't it be when I make profit that you should actually charge me management fee? And at times it comes like it's very small, but when you check it over the years, you find out that they take a lot of your money 
And so whatever it is that you're having, successful people believe that I'm going to go for one that almost have nothing, if not, if not nothing, when it comes to management fees. Then what about inflation? At the inflation rate, let me just put it as it, it's not even what it is right now, but let's leave it at 3%. Most of course, the interest rate we get is less than 3%. So anywhere that you're trying to build anything, wealth, and, you're in, and the interest rate you're being offered is lower than inflation rate, know you that you're not doing anything. The other one is, what about taxation? You know, the truth, I, I meet so many people that will tell you, well, I have some things. Some, so many of us have 401k, so many of us have this, but they don't know how it works. Do you realize that wherever you put in your money, Taxation plays a very important role in that. If you do not understand how tax will affect your money, you may actually be working and be keeping your money. But at the end of the day, half of your money will be gone. It is for that reason that you see so many people, they will tell you they have retired. Give them some time, they are back again. They are looking for, they are look, they are, they are looking for job, not because they are tired of staying at home, but they are running out of money. Taxation plays a very important role. We need to understand it. Wherever you're building wealth, what about the liquidity? Do you have access to that money? Then let, we're going to look at compound interest. Compound interest is very important if you're going to build wealth. Most of the time I hear people say, well, this uh, bank is giving me 4%. This bank is giving me 3%. But what they give you is simple interest. Simple interest can never build anything for you. You must understand the power of compound interest. That is one of the reasons that companies, banks, they, they put their money in what I've just shared with you, life insurance assets, because the money they are compound. We are going to look at this. We are going to compare this thing so that you can begin to appreciate what I'm sharing with you. Do you realize that social security? Of course, most of the uh, uh, wealthy people, they, they're, they're not really into social security, but because they take their money, they don't play with their cents. That's what I want you to know. So even if it's $100, they will take it. But do you realize that there are places that you have your money that can actually attract your social security to be taxed again? There are places that when you keep your money, so your social security can be taxed. And I'm sure you don't want to do that. So many of us do not, not know that, that they, they call it provisional income. What kind of income do you have? If you have it all over, the, the, all those things will count towards your social security to know whether your social security will be taxed. Any portfolio you have, most of us, we take this for granted. No matter what you're building, what about critical chronic illness? Do you have them? Do you realize that sickness is number one thing, number one cause of uh, bankruptcy in USA? It is that that successful people know. So you know what they do? They transfer the risk of ever getting sick and no, no longer, remember they already have their own money. They have how their money is growing. But you know one thing again, they have also built critical and chronic illness rider, long-term care to transfer the risk of ever falling sick and, and um, getting built so much that now what they did is to transfer it to company that will take care of them. This is something that we should actually build into what we have, our portfolio, but we don't. And so when sickness comes, you know what happens? Most of us live serious debt for our family. We don't pray for sickness, but it comes. And if it comes, what do you have that we actually start helping the family? And I know that so many of you are breadwinners of your, of your home. It, you know, there's this saying that when middle-class Americans, when they pass, they pass liability to their family. But when the wealthy-class Americans pass, they leave wealth to their families. So these are some of the things that so I want you to look at the financial process. There's no portfolio they have. They do not build this into it. So why are we not building it? Because they come in with this life insurance, 
to us. And they show us only the one that you have of when, when you die, not taking into consideration that somebody may not die immediately. What about if sickness were to come? There's only so much that it, even, even the church of God can carry you. It is for that reason that we're bringing it. So that if you don't have some things that you're supposed to have, just put it in place. That It happens to be the country we found ourselves. Maybe where we come from, we don't, we don't really look in, into those things. So these are, so what I'm going to do right now is to show you, I thought that's, that's another one, probate court system. Do you realize that if somebody dies in this country, all your, ass, your accounts will be frozen. They will start inviting your creditors. It is after they have paid all your creditors, whatever is still remaining, government will tax before, if there's still anything remaining, before it gets to your, to your beneficiaries. What do you have in place that if anything like that happens, your family will not, will not suffer for, for it. So while we actually cater for the church of God, we should also take care of ourselves and our family. I will continue to, let me continue to share with you some things. So look at this. I want you to look at, because what I did here is this, this is the portfolio, whatever account that anybody can have. And I want you, and I'm going to look at it in terms of financial principles of successful people. And that's what you're seeing here. So that's who be believe that you should never lose money. When you have your money in checking accounts, of course, that's why you check. You never lose your money. Savings accounts, money market, like bank CDs and the rest, you never lose money. 401k, 457, of course, you lose your money. It goes up and down. Then IRA, if you anywhere you see this X, that means you can lose money in that account. Index accounts, annuities, you never lose your money there. Life insurance, you never lose money there. Municipal bonds, you never lose your money there. College fund, 529, you can lose your money there because it's all, most of the time it's also tied to the market. Okay. What about this one? Pay or no pay to invest money. You can see the, the ones that are here, check-in, savings, CDs, index annuity, life insurance, they are the only ones. What about inflation? Checking account, of course, you, you, um, the, whatever rate that I'm giving you is far be, below 3%. So you are not really building wealth. The same thing for savings account. The same thing for CDs. These ones are plus or minus because... Um, the market can grow higher than that, but you can also lose money. That's why you're seeing this minus minus here because it's 50 50, depending on what, on, on what it is. Let me go back. Then, what about annuities? Life insurance, depending on the type of annuities, too. What about life insurance? You never, oh, sorry, hold on. Let me. What about annuities? What about life insurance? What about municipal bonds? When you have um, the interest rate is always higher than inflation rate. So you have to be very mindful of where your money is. So let's look at this one again. Taxes. Of course, your checking account, savings account, CDs, 401k. The only one here is your Roth IRA. If you have Roth IRA, it's checked here because government does not tax it. Your life insurance, the cash inside that life insurance, government does not tax it. What about your municipal bond, like county bonds? Government does not tax it. Your 529 college plan for kids, government does not tax it. Let's look at liquidity, your ability to assess that money. Of course, if you have money in checking account, savings account, look at it here. The same thing for life insurance, government um, that you have access to your money. So let me continue. I want you to understand the power of compound interest because I talked about it. Is your money invested using simple interest or is it invested in compound interest? Do you realize that the credit company, the money they give you and I, the interest rate there compounds for them. That is why when you are just putting in that, if you are, if you are just paying your money back based on the interest rate that uh, the, the amount that they are charging you, you will never get out of the credit interest account. 
That's one terrible because they are, the money they are compounds. It's not even only that. Do you realize that the mortgage company, that mortgage that they give you, their interest compounds for them. If you, uh, let's just say you have about $360,000 and you are giving an interest rate of 4%, do you realize that within um, nine, is it 18 years, you would have paid off, even if you are paying that thing you're paying, you would have paid off that loan. But because it compounds for them, they give it to you for, for 30 years. That remaining number of years is the interest that compounds for them. But when they give you a nine interest rate, it does not compound. They give it to us based on simple interest. It is for that reason that so many people walk and walk. And at the end of the day, you're wondering, there is really nothing to show for it. Maybe for some of us, it is during tax season that you see how much you have made. And you're wondering, really, where is that? Where, where has all this money gone to? Because most of us, when we when they give us interest, it's simple interest. Let me do this so that we can we can actually see this comparison between simple and compound interest. These are different years. Look at this thing. But by year 30, by year 20, the same amount, $100,000, the same 10% interest rate. But this one is based on simple interest. Why this other one is based on compound interest? Initially, they start off like it, it looks like the same. But look at by 20 years, the 100000 for simple interest is 300000 The one for compound interest is 672000 Let's continue to go down. Go down. You can't see the numbers. It looks like they are. Oh, you can't see the numbers. See the numbers. No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me. I don't know how I, 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 can, know do how I can do it. Okay. Let me just say. Not so, year 40, year 40, see, year 30, after 30 years of their investment in this, using simple interest. For simple interest, year 30 is $400,000 that it has accumulated. Do you know what this same person, $100,000? has accumulated for him using compound interest, 1.7 million. Simple interest year 40, from 100,000, it has accumulated 500,000. Do you know what it has accumulated for somebody using compound interest? 4.5 million. That's the power of compound interest. So why is it that all we know is simple interest? Of course, they'll make it, come and take this one for 4%, and you're jumping, are you kidding me? 4%, but what is 4%? Is it based on simple interest or compound interest? So I just want us to begin to understand some of these things. I'm going to try to run it so that I can give you all time to continue what, what you're doing. So look at this. Um, um, how many of these checking accounts, all this, the only portfolio that, ha that actually utilizes compound interest is fixed index annuity and life insurance. These are the only ones that actually... Oh, this one that you are seeing, um, um, Dash, like stock, stock would have had it. But the problem is this, that you can wake up one morning and the whole thing is gone. So yes, he builds money for you. But at the same time, he can, it, 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 maybe it has actually given you 50%. And when he crashes, he can crash back to 75%. So it's on and off, on and off. That's the problem that so many people have, that they cannot build anything. So let's continue. What about double taxation? I'll just the kind of uh, critical illness. Let's look at critical illness. Ability to transfer the risk of ever being sick, that you can no longer continue to work. And I'm going to ask all of you, I just want you to think about it. The only reason that they're paying you at all, if they're paying you, is because you are providing service skills. Have you ever wondered or have you ever thought if I can no longer continue to work, if I can no longer continue to provide that skills because of sickness, where do I hope to get an alternative source of income? I know at times so many of us say, well, I'll go for Medicaid, I'll go for social, I'll start collecting social security. Let me make, let me make you understand this. Social security was invented, I think, in 1935. And as at that time, life expectancy was 62 years. And so, and of course, people are made to retire at the age of 65. So at, at, by 62, so many of them would have died. The ones that try to reach 65, of course, after 65, they're gone. And at, at that time, so many people were putting in money for that social, um, for just one retiree. Over 100 were putting in money for one retiree. Then later on, life expectancy changed. 
Do you know that as of now, it's only three people that can actually sponsor one, one retiree. And you know the thing, they have more older people than they have more younger people that will put in money. And I want you to understand that that stats that are, that are taken in the name of social security, it's not like they put it somewhere. Social security is pay as you go. So meaning that all the tax collected this year will be used to pay people retiring this year. So the social security is not anywhere that you think maybe they kept money somewhere waiting, waiting for you to retire. It is not true. So all this fighting in politics, whether they should keep social security or whether they will leave it, social security is gradually going. Because you can even see people, we're no longer giving back to, to kids the way that the older ones used to give back to kids. And what do you think? So the older ones do not have, that. the older ones are retiring, but the people to continue to put in money for them to use for social security are gradually decreasing and decreasing fast. It's for that reason that you really need to understand what you're doing. So um, let me just, um, I will just try to skip some of them. So when, when we say um, to, to make sure that you have a critical illness rider to protect people from heart attack, stroke, cancer, if there's ever something like that, all these things, they are built as part of your portfolio. No matter how much you have somewhere, God forbid that sickness can work on. It's not our portion. This is, you know, at times I meet people that will tell me that they, they have something. And what do they have? They, they have disability insurance. Let me tell you something about disability. Of course, it's for some number of years. Have you ever thought if the sickness were to stay up to so many years? And when they say disability, see this lady. She can be on disability insurance. Assuming that the, the company says, if we don't see you by next month, we will terminate your, your, your employment. I'm telling you that this lady can actually go to work. She will take this accordance and go to work. But look at this. This is the person that needs living benefits. He is staying here, but he's no longer living in this world. And his wife had to take, this happened to be a real, a real thing. The wife had to reduce her job because she had to take care of the, the husband. But the good thing is this. They have a living benefit. She could go to work. Somebody was taking care, care of it for her because they were, they were paying them to do that. So I want you to, it's something I really want us to be thinking about while we're going into it. If you look at all these things I just shared with you, at the end of the day, there's only one that is checked in all of them. You can see life insurance. So for whatever, you never lose money, no management fee and the rest. That is it. And I'm sure you're wondering, really, but the life insurance I have does not even have it. I'm going to share these things with you. But um, like I said, I'm, I will jump, I will try to move um, to go faster because I don't want to hold you people so much. Look at three ways you can grow your money. You can grow your money fixed, meaning that it can be in the bank. Your money is not in a savings account. Your money is not increasing. But at the same time, it's increasing, but you can barely notice the growth. That's why you're saying the line is very, very small. Another way you can grow your money is through variable. Look at the way it is. When the market is good, your money grows. As soon as there is crash, you lose your money up and down. This is one of the reasons that people never reach their financial goal. Because you put your money somewhere, tomorrow, to, today it's growing, everybody's happy. Then when it crashes, you are praying that even your principal amount remains for you. That's how variable accounts does. And that's where so many of us, we have our 401k. If you say you want to be very conservative in your 401k, that means you want to be in fixed. And being in fixed interest, your money is not growing. Yes, it's safe for you. But what about the purchasing power? You know that $1,000 today will not be $1,000 in the next five years. It is for that reason that people are looking for, how do I grow my money? The ones that go there, that come to variable, they know that they can lose their money, but they, are, they also want to take chance because fixed interest is not giving them anything. The one that has never, people, it has been in existence in the hands of the, so many wealthy class Americans. Why is it that so many of us do not know about it? It is called index. How does index work? When the market is good, your money grows. As soon as there is crash, it locks up your money. You never ever lose your money. Then the market picks up again. Both the principal amount and the interest credited starts growing again. As soon as there is crash, it locks up your money. If you look at index 
it is an upward growth. Why is it that so many of us, we have a life insurance that, that can do that for you. Let me show you something. And I'm sure so many, so many of you are wondering, life insurance, are you kidding me? I have life insurance. Let's look at some uh, life insurance we have here. You have group life insurance. That's the one you usually get through work. You have term life insurance. That's the one that you have for a limited number of years. All of, all of these things, they can be used for various things. And I'm going to share that with you. What about whole life? Whole life is you continue to put in money throughout your lifetime. Universal life is considered family miracle. You know why it's considered family miracle? Because you can put your money there. It can actually, the money can grow for you. And the money can not only grow for you, you can actually use it to fortify in the event of sickness. And the money can so grow, the money in compounds. I'm going to show that to you. Let's look at, I'm going to jump some things. Look at um, uh, group life. That's what they give us in our places of work. At times, people say, yes, they have something. But the thing is this, you don't pray to die in your place of work. That's what that, that so whatever they if they put in your name as people someone that has insurance, they will not see your name except they go to your company. Then when you eventually leave your place of work, you have nothing. People people usually love it because it's insignificant, it is free. Most employees have it. But you know one thing, the coverage ends when you leave. You are paid off on debt, mostly at work. There is no benefit to it while you are at work. Illness, layoff, retirement, all of this end, uh, you do not result in end of coverage. Do you know the payout probability? 0.9%. So the chances of people even passing while they're at work is really nothing there. It is not considered life insurance traditionally because when they put in your name, nobody will see your name there except the person goes to your place of work. What about term life insurance? Many people love it because it's cheap for them. But you know the truth, you cannot place term in your life. I know some people will, will say, yes, I'm only putting it so that when my kids grow. You know something? The wealthy class Americans don't see it that way. As far as they're concerned, how many life insurance it is for them? Because they want to, they know what they can enjoy inside it. And after, it will be something that they will pass on to the kids, to their families. It is cheap. It's temporary. Can you place a coverage 10 years, 15 years upon your life? Then after 15, 20 years, you no longer have it. But you can also use it for other things like mortgage protection. You can use term for mortgage. At least, if nothing else, if something were to happen to you, let your house be fully paid for your family. At least, if that is what you care for them, it's a big deal. It's for that that I always encourage people, if nothing else, have mortgage protection. While you are alive, you are putting money. While you are healthy, if something sickness were to come that you can no longer continue to pay for your mortgage, at least you will see something that will start coming in, at least start, start paying some for you. And if anything were to happen, the house will be fully paid. So these are some of the things. I'm going to try to rush whole life. Look at whole life. It, people are getting whole life is up. Or, uh, you put in money till age 100 years. The premium is always the same. The cash accumulation, maybe some will give you good cash accumulation, but most of the time, the cash accumulation grows very slow. The disadvantages is this. It's more expensive than term life insurance. There is no cash value guarantee. There may be, there may be not. Then, of course, that benefit is without cash value, meaning that if you have grown money inside the account and something were to happen, whatever is the debt benefit, if it's 250000 that's what they will give your family then the cash value stays inside. But look at Index Universal Life. It is called Family Miracle for so many reasons. I'm going to show you. It's going to protect your, your money from market losses. It's going to protect your money from creditors. It's going to, it, do you know, even wage garnishment, whatever money you have in that account, government cannot touch that money inside that account. You know the reason. It is life insurance. That's what the wealthy class Americans use. Civil suit. All these uh, uh, dragging money, uh, dragging, whatever money is in your life insurance, nobody touches it. What about uh, bankruptcy? If you like, declare bankruptcy 100 times. Can you, can you wonder why some people will say that they have they declared bankruptcy so many times and are still considered as, the, as one of the richest people in this country? They un understand this thing I'm sharing with you. What about market losses, inflation? So many people use 
this index universal life for emergency fund. At least you are building money. If there's ever emergency fund, you can assess uh, ever uh, unexpected expenses. You can assess your money. Retirement, it is 100% tax free. Can you imagine putting in money in an account for your retirement? The way you are done, whatever money is there is 100% yours. Why would you want to go for that? What about college fund for kids? You can also use it for college fund for your children. You know why? Because of its flexibility. Then savings. There's a lot this thing can do for you. I know that so many of us are saying, wow, all these things too good to be true. Oh, yes. But the truth is this, that you have to qualify for it. It's not like it is it is just there for everybody to come and do uh, have it. You have to qualify for it. I'm going to use this and of course I'm looking at my time. I want to encourage us all to do this. So many of us are, work, are, are actually giving. This is we, some of us do not do a lot, but you can have this by the side and use it to, to at least know that I have somewhere that I'm carrying my money. I have somewhere that I'm also, if anything happens, whether sickness or not, we don't pray for that. But what, what if I know my family is protected? I know that at least I, can, I cannot stay without, stay without any money anywhere that money can be coming. It's something I will encourage us all. I know I have been trying to rush, but I really it's something that that's why we partner with so many um, pastors. Tomorrow I have a place, a, a church that I'll be going to to minister to them. I want to encourage us all that we all need this. And the thing is this: when you are growing, can you imagine? Let me just end by saying this: look, um, look at so, something that happened in our in in this state that I live in. This is a young man. For the five years that went to work he went to work and for no reason the person that came to relieve him from work found him dead in the morning this man has a wife he has two little kids three years and one year can you imagine the burden he became to, to to the church the church couldn't afford to because the man had nothing nothing and you know what the church, the church tried all, all they could. These are some burdens that church bear that we can actually help make sure that everybody have that. But let me continue. When they finally, the church couldn't, of course, couldn't do uh, uh, do the whole thing for the for, for the man. So what they did was they started stretching hands and they were going to other churches to, to, to appeal to them, to come and support them. And so they were able to raise that money and they laid the man to rest. But do you know what the man left? A wife with two little kids, three years and one year. In the past, the wife will walk in the morning and come back to take care of those kids. Then the man will go in the evening. So the man did not only leave a wife with two little kids, he left mortgage and his own part of the money gone with no money anywhere. How do you think the wife survived? Of course, she finally survived it. But how did she do that? She had those two little kids that just lost their dad. She had to beg a mother, that a, a, a grandmother that came to take care of her kids to be taking care of those kids. So Sunday morning, sorry, Sunday evening, she will go for a living job. She will not come back until Friday morning. She will pick the kids and stay with them. She had to do what she could do. Who would have told that 45 year old man that one day she will, he will. But that, that one is just part of it. The money inside it, somebody in Texas, one of, just like you people are all listening to this, the man in Texas listening to us, uh, the, the the wife, after listening to it, she wanted somebody to go with her so that they would explain this to her husband. Her husband didn't come. And so the husband, one of the agents went with the, hus uh, with the wife. And after the sharing with the husband, the husband loved it. He said, but the thing is that we have so many projects that this is not the right time. After the project, they will do that. But the wife refused. The wife happened to be a nurse practitioner. The wife said, no, let's let's put, put this in place. The husband said, no, what about this uh, house that we're building here? What about this project here? No, 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 this is not the right time. The wife turned to him. I guess the way the wife talked to him and said, you, you know one thing? I want to ask you, even if you don't do that, let me, let, let me do it. That I happen to earn a lot in this house. It's not like anything will happen. But what if it happens? Let's start saving money in this account. I can, I can be saving my money. I know we're building projects, but we don't even have savings. Let's be saving money and let it be growing. And at the same time, I also have uh, this. So I guess the way she talked to the man, the man decided, okay, you, you know what? 
you can go ahead and do it, but let me finish the project. I will, I will not do mine. She now accepted. Few years later, let me tell you what happened. The lady wanted to go to war. She, she almost collapsed on the floor. The husband said, you know what, go back to bed. Let's call your, the, the clinic that you're not coming. She said, no, that getting people was difficult. Finally, the husband tried to, to make her stay back. She refused. Then after resting, she said she was okay. She got up to go again. She slumped. You know the truth. She never got back. Uh, he, she never got up again because by the time ambulance came, she was no longer behaving like an adult. Her sense is gone. She's actually in the in in a in a rehabilitation center. Do you know what that thing she did? One million dollar was sent to her account. The husband used it to pay off their mortgage. The husband every day now he happened to be one of our crusaders, and that's the reason why I said. I love what I'm doing. In the past, I was always talking to companies. I was always uh, looking at budget to see what company is doing this. And this is the first time I've been able to meet people one-on-one -on -one and see what they're going through. I want to be able to speak to you people one-on-one, -on -one, whoever is interested. But most importantly, I just want to appreciate you all for actually listening. Thank you so very much. And uh, I don't know whether there's any questions. Deep or have questions? Hello. stand here so that uh, you thank you so much for the seminar please be very interesting for the seminarian any question okay so uh, one thing is that if you have any question you can talk to um, Brother Barry. Um, he will connect you to, to her, or you can talk to me. I can also um, give her your uh, her information. Could give you her your, your informa uh, her information for you to contact her. Um, so uh, as she has talked about how important for us to have some insurance and if you want to build that and become like her you can do that as a part-time <laughs> as a part-time once you do your normal job uh, mm -hmm. or if you mm -hmm. want to buy the insurance and whatever you want to do beside it is good to do that praise the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. it will help us and help our family members as well. Um, it is good for us to be good managers. As somebody said, the 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 most the work that God gave to um, Adam when he was created was management. To manage the land he gave to him. He tells it and if you look at it, God take management serious. Uh, if you look at the guy who did not manage the one dollar that was, I'm using the one dollar, the one talent <laughs> that was given to him, look at it, he punished him. And he said, the, the one that you have, it was also behold, taken from you. So management is very, very important uh, with, our, with our finances um, so that the Lord will help us to be able to uh, get what we need to get in life as we are planning to go to heaven whilst we have not gone there we can live better and besides living better we won't live and leave sorrow to our children and our family the lord will help us in jesus name Amen. Amen. once again let's thank uh, our seminarian for the wonderful work she has done and, thank you uh, thank you God bless you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you.
if we get any information, we will let you know as many that want to connect and be part of it. Amen. That's fine. That's Thank fine. you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Kepi. Thank you, everyone. It's time for the mission statement. Recording, Recording stopped. stopped. Of AMS, the vision and mission. Working together for the kingdom of God. The African Ministers Fellowship is a nonprofit interdenominational organization formed to reach out to all. African descent Christian ministers in the Washington metropolitan area. The body may be African in origin, but its fellowship meetings have been attended by people of various nationalities. The interdenominationality of AMF makes it unique. In heaven, there are no denominations. Thanks to God for the ministers on mission, building together for the kingdom of God. The fellowship was formed for the purpose of, among other things, one, to commit ourselves to getting people through into a deeper relationship with God, two, to exalt our God always, three, to evangelize our communities, four, to edify and equip the believers for a long-lasting successful ministry, to bring people to a point of realization, restoration, and relationship with God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Six, to support, lift up, and encourage one another as we run the Christian race. It's also formed to help one another in building strong evangelism team, music ministry, supporting various other churches programs, and empowering our members, improving their skills through seminars and workshops like we just had. The last one is to embark on joint evangelistic outreaches and create awareness of the necessary tools for church growth. We as a body, we believe that it is different nations. We believe that if different nations could come together under the umbrella of the United Nations, despite their religious, political, cultural, social, and language differences. Then the Christian body, under the leadership of various appointed, anointed, and God-approved ministers, should be able to work together, despite our denominational differences. And that is why AMF is here. And I'm proud to be part of it. And I hope you are too. Next on the program. Next on the program is announcement, but I think our media coordinator is not here. I'll go ahead and give the announcement. Of course, if we have any announcement, we should get it to the secretary um, before the meeting, at least two weeks before. The only announcement I have here is regarding the barbecue for Alexandra Church 
of Zupa Life Bible Church Alexandria location right here. They are going to have their barbecue on September 2nd, 2024 at 10 a.m. The Deeper Life Bible Church is also having a revival service um, from Saturday the 17th at 7 p.m. That is a week today. 7 p.m. in the Amada location and D.C. Church as the headquarter church, D.C. The title of that program is Ignite. And we are, by this venture, inviting everybody. We have some flyers. Maybe at the end of the service, we can give it out. Our next ALF leadership meeting would be on the 28th of this month. And it's always via Zoom at 8 p.m. We are also encouraging members to pay their monthly dues. Of course, the Mother Church is $50.00 and any of the branches is $25. It's time for offering. Mr. Barry, please help us with offering. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. Let's start.